All right, so it's penalties. Roberto Firmino is going to take the first penalty um, in this penalty shootout, and I, to be honest, think he's going to put the ball in the back of the net. Hopefully, Kappa saves it, and hopefully he misses, or hopefully he misses Salasso. Yeah, he puts the ball into the back of the net. It's one, it's one not to live on penalties. Yep, it's Jorginho. Jorginho will be taking Chelsea's first penalty. He's already scored one in this game. And I have a feeling that Adrian's going to save it. But hopefully Jorginho does something different. We'll just have to see. Yes, he does the same thing again. He puts the ball into the back of the net. Makes the keeper dive the wrong way. And just puts it into the bottom corner. Good penalty. 1-1 one, one on penalties. Fabinho will be taking the next penalty for Liverpool. He does have cramps, so that does give us a slight chance. But let's not, let's not take that too lightly. He could still score. But yes, come on, Kepa, do your best. Fabinho makes it 2-1 to Liverpool on penalties. Great penalty, to be honest. Kepa barely moved, puts it straight into the bottom corner. To be fair, Kepa was going to go the right way, but didn't get there in time. Ross Barkley to take the next penalty for Chelsea. Now, I definitely expect him to score. I've seen him take penalties before, and they've been really good so far. Come on. Straight into the top corner, Adrian no chance, even though he did dive the right way, but great penalty from Ross Barkley, it's 2-2 on penalties. Divock Origi to take Liverpool's next penalty, again I expect him to score, but hopefully Kepa saves it, or hopefully he misses, shall I say. That is very, very, very unlucky, Kepa does dive the right way, he does get a hand onto it, but it sadly goes into the back of the net. It's 3-2 to Liverpool on penalties. Mason Mount to take Chelsea's next penalty <sighs> and that is an excellent penalty straight into the top corner Adrian did dive the right he did dive the right way but he got abs he got nowhere near it no chance Trent Alexander Arnold to take Liverpool's next penalty again I expect him to score I'm not going to say I'm not going to say the rest because you're probably going to be Probably going to get bored of me saying it, but yes, um, come on, Kappa. So the dive, he got, he dive, Kappa dives the right way again, but he, his hand wasn't strong enough. It goes into the back of the net again. It's 4-3 to Liverpool on penalties. And Emerson will be taking Chelsea's next penalty. Great penalty, straight down the middle. Adrian, no chance. He dived. And like I said, it was straight down the middle, but great penalty from Emerson. <sighs> On to Liverpool. Mohamed Salah to take Liverpool's fifth penalty. Hopefully he misses, and how fitting would that be? Salah sends Kepa the wrong way. Great penalty, it's 5-4 to Liverpool. On penalties now, Chelsea have to score this, otherwise the Super Cup goes to um, Anfield. Amen. Tammy Abraham to take Chelsea's fifth penalty. Hopefully he scores. Um, Chelsea's chances of winning this trophy lie, lie on Tammy Abraham. Hopefully he scores. Come on, come on, come on. Tammy Abraham misses his penalty, and that means that Liverpool have won the Super Cup. <sighs> well, I don't know what to say. Very good game from us, a, a, a brilliant performance I have to say and I have to admit that we did put that, that shocking performance overall on Sunday to bed. Tamir Abraham looks, looks as though he's in tears, unlucky from him. <sighs> to be fair it wasn't a great penalty but <sighs> yeah, Liverpool won the Super Cup. I'll see you all for my review very soon.